800 745 2715. 5701 West Sunrise Boulevard, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Licensed by New York State Banking Department. Licensed at Management Service Provider, Maryland 49. Licensed by Vermont Department of Banking, Insurance, Securities, and Healthcare Administration. Oregon Registration Number DM80031. Welcome back here to the PM Show Weekend Edition on CRN Digital Talk Radio with the Manettis. So what were we speaking about? Yeah. Beer so alcohol we were... doesn't what? thrill me at all. Oh, RJ, I don't have my, I, I lost my head. your music here, yeah, Larry, listen. Put, put your uh, ears on. lost your what, Larry? You know, before you were talking, you mentioned uh, Ernie Borgnine. What a yeah. wonderful man he is. Oh. I, know, I know he's a close friend of yours. And, yeah. Uh, He's the you know, when I see you once in a while, I, I, I bump into him, too. And You know, what a tremendous man he is. He's given us all so much and a great range. Jesus, when you think of the work that he's done, incredible. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the incredible Robert Wagner on with Nancy and Larry Minetti. Fred Dreyer is also here. Fred, you were talking to uh, to Robert Wagner about uh, the hunter scenes where you were being oh, yes. thrown off the buildings or something. What was going on there? I, RJ, I'm sure you remember this with your with your great memory. It was uh, shot over. Your series was shot over um, on Warner's lot, and then, and the the scene was is uh, in this episode. I I'm uh, I play a real estate agent that really? is at a basketball game, and mm-hmm. and then uh, I'm the bad guy, uh, and then uh, you you chase me uh, and up up on the on the roof of this building, and and then the, then they cut away to this uh, this very wobbly. Um, um, I guess they would call it a, uh, you know, the, uh, the, uh, uh, um, like a cherry picker. Well, it's, it's, it's like that, but it's, it's, uh, you know, it's a big platform with, you know, uh, and it just keeps going up and up and up to a, about an elevator. About, well, yeah, it's an elevator platform, you know, yeah. which got a railing around it and we're supposed to be up there. And the idea is to shoot us up against the sky and, you know, we get some height in the scene. And uh, and we I remember I remember I was the first one to get up there. And I said, oh, "This isn't this isn't too bad." But then when RJ got up, there's two people up there. Now it's wild. And now we start to there's it's a fist fight. And then you know I go over the side, but you start moving around up there, and this damn thing starts moving side to yeah, side, rocking back, back and forth, back and forth, back and, forth. And, and and so Bob said. Uh, he says, you know, uh, this isn't good. Uh, let's get this thing shot and get down. And I said, look, just plant one right here, and I'll just go over the side. But let me get my head through the bars first. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we got up there. We, we did it. And, and we realized that uh, you couldn't. Uh, they wanted to make a big deal out of it, you know, with, uh, you know a, lot of, a lot of action and going back and forth. But uh, we said, forget it, you know. And, and it was great. I just followed your lead. I said, Fred, uh, can, you, uh, can you not move around as much? I said, well, <laughs> yeah, I can understand here. That was a little, that, that was a little scratch. That one. Yeah, that was a good one. But uh, it was great working with you guys, and uh, and, and I re- I remember this. I'll just say this. Uh, uh, I was just coming out of the of playing for the Rams at the time and uh, w- wanting to get into the business, and uh, and this was one of the first shows I was cast in doing, and it was very intimidating for a guy like me. And uh, and then when I, I got there and I showed up on the set and uh, of course I, I knew uh, what I had to do. But what was real interesting for me was is, is to not only to be with with you and Stephanie, and and to be uh, with Lionel Stander and, and and the great cast you guys had, and uh, but to to see how it all worked. And it was one of the it was one of the jobs that that I had early in my career that that allowed me not only to have a great experience. But also to see the behind the scenes and how the television shows were put together. Well, you know, you, and, and it yeah. was really great. You know, it was you, were re- a great, you were a great contributor, Freddie. Oh, and, thank you. And I remember, I remember when you came on the set, Stephanie lit right up. Yeah. Man, she got, she got, I had to throw water on her. Why could, <laughs> I, I thought you were going to get hurt. Why couldn't we have her up there on that uh, fight scene? It would have helped. <laughs> It would have helped. It would have been. It would have been a great. Uh, tr- a, Another a little bit of trivia. A great threesome up on the roof. Yeah, <laughs> that's neat. <laughs> so no, I'm gonna snitch, RJ. I'm telling everybody that you were a stable boy at the Bel Air Hotel grounds. Come on. Before it was the Bel Air Hotel with John Derrick. Yeah. Well, you know the the, the Bel Air Hotel. Wow. Was Alfonso Bell who created Bel Air? Ooh. It, oh. it was his uh, real estate offices. And then it was a little tea room, and then the rest of it was all stables. All of uh, hmm. all of those rooms were all stalls. And uh, yeah, when I was a kid, you know, uh, the grooms all went to war, and and uh, so 
three of us, and man, a friend of mine, Noel Clarabit, and, and John Derrick, who was called Dare Harris at that time, and I took care of all of the horses, and uh, it was a terrific so time. So the rooms were stalls? Yeah, many many of those rooms were stalls, yeah. I wait thought there minute. was a weird smell no, coming from room 13C you, that time wait, I was in Are there. you telling me that the Bel Air Hotel was converted I, from it, stalls from to horse stalls? To yeah, it was. It was a, a, originally a, uh, a stables of wow. which uh, Robert Montgomery, who was a very, very popular actor oh, at that yeah. time, kept yeah. many of his horses there. A lot of westerns. And you could uh, you could ride out of the Beller Hotel and ride around the golf course and go up into the mountains. I mean, there were no homes there or anything wow. then. I mean, very few. I mean, there were homes, but uh, you know, there wasn't. It wasn't the way it is. How were things out by the pool at that time? Well, I I was the pool boy there for you a while were? too. Oh wow! Yeah. The pool, uh, the pool where the pool is used to be the riding ring. Oh wow! And uh, they turned that into the pool. Yeah, the Beller Hotel is a beautiful place. Now, do you still love right. horses? Do you have a love for horses? Yeah, I, I still I still uh, am involved in horses. I've got two left. I was in the cutting horse business for a while. Oh yeah. I, I was also in the thoroughbred racing business, and I, I was very lucky. I had a winner in the thoroughbred business, and I had a champion in, mm. in the cutting horse. A cutter, wow. Yeah. You just got a compliment. Our engineer said that uh, while you were at, you, I guess you were at a race in Indianapolis. Yeah. No, not in no, Indianapolis. Where? It was out in the no. uh, I keep going back Inland Midwest, Empire there. I don't know, but and you, you were at, at a race. Griswold's? Is that you went to Griswold's. Griswold's Old World Restaurant where she, uh, Chef Tomas was working yeah, there. And it, he, and he uh, served you some nice food, you and he said you threw it back at him and said it was terrible. No, he, he said you were <laughs> gracious and wonderful. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a great place, Griswold's. That's a sensational place. Still out there, Tomas? Do you still have a night job there? No? Okay. Are you still, are you okay, still wrangling cucumbers and radishes? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so RJ, you're getting to play in Italian. Anthony Denozo Sr. Anthony Denozo Sr. I thought you'd pick up on that. I did. That. I picked up on it right away. So not well, just got to be up in heaven. Very proud of you playing a paisan. That's uh, a, one of, that is the greatest theatrical experience I've had is working on NCIS. I love Mark Harmon, and I love Michael Weatherly. The girls are sensational, you know, Cody DiPablo and, and, and Polly Perrette. And everybody, everybody that's involved in it is, you know, they've been doing that show for nine years. Now, you know this, Larry. You know, they all started together. Yeah. And they're still together, and they all have such Wonderful. great respect for one another. And it's a number one show. It's always yeah. good writing, and good good writing, good script writing, and then a great ensemble cast. And that exactly. always seems to. You and you're very it. good in that. That's a great Thank role you. for you. Let's ask him a little more. Can you hang in one more segment with Can us, you Robert? Stay with right us one more character. segment, eh, I love that character. Absolutely. I'm with you guys. Oh, right. thanks. The great Robert Wagner is here. Nancy Minetti, Larry Minetti. Neighbor Fred Dreyer has stopped in, ladies and gentlemen, to borrow a cup of sugar. We'll be back on CRN.